Greetings Java viewers and welcome to another Minecraft Mining for Beginners tutorial. This is the tutorial where we are going to re our mod and going to publish it on a website and um, we're going to be publishing it on Planet Minecraft. Now actually you're not going to use your um, Eclipse so you can go ahead and close that down. But what you want to do is you want to locate into your um, M MCP folder. First of all, you want to check for errors that Eclipse is not um, seeing, because sometimes there might be some errors um, in the actual Minecraft game that is not in the Eclipse version. And all right, I have totally forgotten about this. Um, this is saying that all the names we make is um, not compatible with the Minecraft in the game, so Eclipse can. Um, well, and y'all know that when we made our colors for no for the names, yeah. Well, basically, you cannot do it that way. Um, sorry, I forgot about that. Um, you have to do it in another way. Um, simply, you have to replace the paragraph with um, a slash and some weird numbers and letters. And I'm just gonna be showing you how you do that. Um, first of all. Locate to your main file where you have your names. Basically, um, go to your names and well, this sign, this symbol, paragraph, is not available within the in-game Minecraft, um, except when you're using Eclipse. Um, so what you want to replace that with is um. Don't get me wrong, but I cannot remember this. So what I will need to do is I will need to open um, the Star Wars mod names because the Star Lightsabers has these colors. So I'm just gonna locate to my main um, to my main file, um, and I'm gonna go down to my naming here. Um, where's my? There it is. Um, so this piece of code, um, it's u slash u double o a seven. All right. I know it's kind of random, but you need to replace um, the paragraph with this. Replace them all, and now um, because there's an a at the end, it will be um, it will still be green in game. So go ahead and I'm just actually not gonna. And in this time, um, go back in your MCP folder and recompile your mod again. I'm just gonna pause it because this can take like 20 seconds, but it can also take five seconds. So uh, now, actually, let's just make it run. All right. Um, whoa. The modium. So there's still one. In the modium. Oh yeah, okay. Um, inside your tap file, if you had a color for that as well, which I had, you want to change that as well. Fail. And now you can go ahead and recompile. So yeah, it's pretty good to recompile first. Um, I'm not sure if you have to, but always do this to be sure if there's any errors. This time it's not it's not looking like there's any errors. And basically what you will do when it's done, um, in a second, is we're gonna hit the re escape. When we hit the re escape, it's gonna look for any edited file in um in the Minecraft jar or in the SRC folder. There's no errors. And um if we edit any base files, it will also know that we did that. And if we made some new files, it will also know that. And um, so in a second, it's going to say the files that are new or have been edited. And it's going to print them in or re obfuscate them into class files. And there should be a list right here. Yeah, you can see all these are in the Java Buckets folder. So we didn't edit any base files, which is good. And then it just um, turns them in or re obfuscates them into class files. Now class files can be found in the re folder, in the Minecraft folder, and here you have this Java Pockets folder. 
basically what you want to do um, is make a new zip file call it whatever you want, I'm going to call it the modding the modium adventures version 1 and then for 1.6.4 drag in your java Bonnet folder or your mod folder go back to mcp, go into src minecraft and drag in your assets folder now and that is basically it but what you can also do is um, get a um, MC mod info file. Basically, you can make a text document, and you can uh, make it into an MC mod info by typing it instead of .txt, it's .info, and call it MC mod. Now, from here, you can add some, well, some configuration to your mod in the game. There's some description, and here again, you can use these um, colors, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to type the modium. Adventures mod a tutorial tutorial walk through of modding and beginners and advanced modders and the name um, will be the modium Ventures. Now, something very important is that you go into your file and find out what your mod I mo what your mod ID is. Mine is Modium, so you put that as the mod ID. Logo file. Um, we're not gonna have any now for now. Um, author. You can put who made it. This is um, a mod ID by Florillo. Uh, he's a cool guy in modding. Um, Author is uh, Java Buckets, or yeah, just Java Bucket. Whoa, Buckets, Java Buckets, Tom. Um, and you need like a forge, and if you want to put a link to it, you can do that as well. Uh, we don't have a link, so dot. Find a Minecraft dot mod dot and then here's the IP gonna be and let's just go ahead and save this for now and drag it right into the zip file as well. Now this zip file can actually be put into the mods folder in your micro folder. So um, if I were to install it, I would have installed like that and now it's installed. Um, and yeah, that's how you install your mod. Um, what we're gonna do now is um, we're gonna go into public uh, what you want to do now is put up a download link so what I do is I put my f um, downloads in the Dropbox um, and then I open up the internet I open up Planet Minecraft and I open up at focus um, so we're not earning a little money you can do that and Planet Minecraft if you have a level of 20 or, or above I think it might be 30 I don't know um, so putting up a download link you should all know how to do or actually you sh I don't know if you do um, if you're using Dropbox you can just copy your public link um, put it into at focus shrink it get your download link right here go to alright when you're on planet minecraft or minecraft forum uh, you want to go and upload it so we're on um on a Minecraft, so we're gonna do it here. So you wanna put push your mod. When I give it a name, the Modium Ventures mod. Now we'll put it on four. I'm gonna put a tutorial walk mod. And we're gonna put new content. Or whatever. Uh, the version is 1.6.4. Is it done? It is. Uh, version 1. Yeah, put that there. Um, publish live. You can make your description. I'm not going to do that right now. I'll pause the video and I'll do that. Um, put your tags. Lollipop. Java buckets. Um, awesome. And here's the download link. So 
the URL and download mod version one. Four. Um, and then you want to up um, get an image. So I'm actually just gonna I'm gonna paint a net and um, uh, I know actually I think um, I have an image somewhere. Uh, this might be hard to find. Um, might be really hard to find. Might be easy to find. Um, I made one like. A just, I'm just gonna go and pause the video until I find an, an image or make a new. This is where Tom realizes that he actually has an image, and <laughs> it's right here. All right, so I'm gonna use this image on uh, my inventory mod, and uh, it's very easy to put up a mod on Planet of Minecraft. I think it's very user friendly. Um, it's yeah, it, it's very easy. Um, better. And once you have all this done, you can go ahead and click um, save up here, and your mod will be on the actual website. I'm just waiting for this image to be. Uh, it's nothing. I'm just gonna pause the video. I'm gonna make the um, description, and um, I'm gonna put a link in the description for the uh, post. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day or night, and I'm off. Until we're um, fixing the map. So, we're um, first of all, we're going to go around and check the map. And next up, so we're going to go around and check the map. Sorry! Alright, now, go to the other side. And, um, scroll down. The first thing we're going to do is go to the volume 4.